I belong to the same service where Steve B.G. Deshpok was there. He was 16 years my senior and a role model not only for the officers of the IS or people working in government but outside also. I would uh, categorize Mr. Deshmukh's achievements in three parts. First, first is a IS officer who worked in Maharashtra. Second is an IS officer who worked in Government of India. And third, his contribution post-retirement after. There are several officers who have done excellent work in various fields and have retired. But there is a certain uniqueness about Mr. Deshmukh and is remembered because of that. He worked hard while in service and outside also. His contribution to good governance is immense. He was a student in Pune. He studied here, initial edu education was here. And he belonged to the first batch of IS of 1951. You know, prior to the independence, we had the Indian Civil Service, which was called the Steel Framework, mainly protecting the interests of the British Empire. And after independence, there was a huge debate whether that should be continued and has, and thanks to the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru and Sardar Vallabhai Patel, the IAS became the administrative arm of the new government also. Many wondered what this service would do after the contribution of the ICS and whether it could adapt itself to the new democratic independent regime. The first few batches were watched with a lot of intent and curiosity. And it was for Mr. Deshmukh and his colleagues to prove that they were as competent, if not more, than the predecessor ICS in governing the country. He was allotted to the then Bombay cadre. Maharashtra was formed only in 1960. Bombay state that time embraced Gujarat, parts of Maharashtra, and parts of Karnataka at the time. After his initial district postings, etc., he came to the Secretariat and uh, his uh, initial contribution was really in forming a separate Chief Minister Secretariat with Vasantrao Naik, who was the then Chief Minister. The role of government and particularly of the Chief Minister's office was growing. Earlier, the chief minister had a, only one private secretary. When Mr. Deshmukh took over, he formed the chief minister's secretariat, a different department. It's like your home department, revenue department, social welfare department, etc. A chief minister's secretariat was constituted and continues even today. He was the first. Uh, secretary to CM of the department, not PS to the chief, chief minister. Later on, after that, he took over as municipal commissioner, Bombay, and then subsequently as chief secretary, Maharashtra. He went to government of India several times. He went for, uh, as additional secretary to the home ministry and then took over as Secretary Labor in Government of India. He was there for about four years and left a mark in the department. 
I worked in the same ministry in the Labor Department between 85 to 90 and personally saw whatever the stamp that had put on the working of the government. As Secretary of Labor, he was also chairman of the Governing Council of the ILO for a year. That was in 1990 or so. Again, at the ILO conferences, people still remembered him at that time. And then he came back and went to Maharashtra, came to Maharashtra as Chief Secretary. Normally, a person would have retired after that as Chief Secretary. But Rajiv Gandhi, who was the then Prime Minister, picked him up as Cabinet Secretary. So he went back to, I think in 1986, he went back to Government of India as Cabinet Secretary, the senior most position in the service. When his turn for retirement came, Rajiv Gandhi took him as Principal Secretary to the Prime Minister. Just as you have the Chief Minister Secretariat, you have the Prime Minister Secretariat also. And he headed that office. He served as a Principal Secretary to Prime Minister with three Prime Ministers. It was Rajiv Gandhi, it was VP Singh after that, and Mr. Chandrasekhar. With all three. Subsequently, after retirement, he uh, was director on uh, Tata Sons there. And then he started his contribution to society in a different capacity. He realized the importance of good governance and involving people in, seeing, in achieving that aim. And so he became active in initially in Bombay, in several organizations, PCGT, Public Concern for Governance Trust, was constituted by him and Mr. Ribeiro and Dr. R.K. Anand in 2002, I think, in Bombay itself. He was active on other organizations also like Agni, on the Asiatic Library, on the National Museum, Bombay First, and several NGOs of that time. Subsequently, he moved to Pune and constituted the Pune branch of PCGT. While doing this, he fought for the, uh, ensuring that governance, good governance, was was given the highest importance. And he tried to organize the public for that purpose. In personal life, he had a lot of tragedies. While uh, his administrative career was something which everybody would envy, he reached right at the top. He lost his wife early, and his only daughter, child, a daughter, also passed away I think in 1989, when he was at the top of his career. I was working in Government of India in Delhi at that time, and I vividly remember the occasion when this happened. A young uh, girl, around 20 or so at the time, passed away while he was in Pune. He was being felicitated here for his achievement. And uh, his daughter passed away. He flew down to Delhi. And I still remember vividly, as officers of Maharashtra, we had gone there. The Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi escorting him to his house. He seemed a broken man at that time. But he recovered from that also, about it, and came back and immersed himself 
in public work. After retirement, he wrote a lot of books also, which are there for all to see. He wrote uh, particularly some books, the cabinet secretary looks back, uh, Puna to prime minister's office, the prime uh, cabinet secretary looks around, several of them are there and they reveal a lot of regarding his work in the various offices that he was there. He also fought against uh, certain tendencies of violence and forced uh, law and order problems. In 2002, when one of the political parties organized a band of Bombay, he was then working with Agni and uh, Mr. Deshmukh with Agni, filed a case in the High Court against that party and said they must be punished. And the, a singular achievement of the of decision of the High Court was given, penalizing the organizers of the band. He spared no but, and he was non-partisan, non at like a true administrator. He, uh, whichever government was in power, he served him that. He has left a mark on uh, not only the service, but the various organizations which are working then. TCGT carries his message of working for transparency and against corruption and honesty in government. We members are trying to achieve that purpose in carrying out these activities. Thank you, gentlemen.